Greetings humans and welcome to the channel where we talk Fortnite save the world and in today's video we're going to be discussing the best in class for the Teddy ability. And if you're talking Teddy you better be talking damage and to get that you better be talking Trailblazer AC. Now Trailblazer AC as cool a skin as he is let's take a look at him. I love the all blue skin. Love the gray hair, got the headphones going on, the, the respirator, dig it all. But he is actually just a reskin of Trailblazer Quinn, who can be found in the collection book under your basic Outlanders. And if you're unfortunate enough to not have her out of a llama, you can recruit her for, I believe, yep, rare, epic, or legendary flux. So yeah, this is where you can come and grab her to get... The, t uh, the character who does the most damage with their teddy. So let's talk about the loadout. And so let's start right here with Trailblazer AC's commander perk. Bear Zerker as a commander perk increases teddy damage by 46% and fire rate by 25%. That is insane. Now this is fantastic because after the rework they nerfed teddies into the dirt i mean teddies used to be just basically a third turret and you know after that you know you, there's tur uh, teddies were struggling to you know kill not even just dad bods and above really just regular husks and for those of you who don't know i the dad bods are the husky husks i call them dad bods but <laughs> So, <laughs> having him as your commander, or even in your standard perk, really helps bring that teddy up to par with what it used to be. Not your, so much as your standard perk, but the commander perk, 46%, and your fire rate by 25%, absolutely insane. But that's not all. We have got so much more to work with to make your teddy just absolutely crazy. Now, we're going to go with the team perk, the newest one that just came out as of the release of this video is ZAP or ZAP and you get that by unlocking uh, Azalea Clark down here who's in our support team but let's talk ZAP. ZAP has your back dealing 105 base energy damage to a random enemy every six seconds now that's energy damage which is key for part of the support team build so keep that in mind though it does require two space explorer heroes and that is just fine and because we have two space explorer heroes that are going to be giving us even more teddy damage so let's walk right into that support team and start here with stare down southie who you can get from springtime heroes if you just missed them uh, around the saint patrick's day release party if you just missed stare down southie he is in your collection book under springtime heroes unfortunately you're gonna have to wait till we get these birthday llamas for the birthday second year event or you know use a recruitment voucher i really wouldn't recommend that but his standard perk which is what we're going to be using on our support team is bear stare teddy fires lasers from his eyes every two seconds dealing 23 base energy damage again energy is kind of key because of the rest of the support team we have, excuse me. So that starts us off. And we're next we're gonna be looking at one of the newer heroes that just came out. Cyberclops, which is a sweet skin in itself. He looks like the first man down out of one of my favorite retro sci-fi movies. I'm a big sci-fi uh, geek, horror film geek. I love films from the twenties to the sixties. I have a I literally have over a thousand of them. It's quite stupid. Huge retro sci-fi nerd, so these skins are fantastic. But anyway, let's focus on the standard perk here. Plasma Arc, energy damage. Now this is where all that energy kind of comes into play. Energy damage has a 20% chance to zap nearby enemies for 58% of damage dealt. So, with every zap, with every bear stare eye laser, with every bear firing, 
and with the other abilities that he has with Shock Tower, all of that, every time it hits, it has a 20% chance to do that damage, which is phenomenal. It's really insane, as you'll see in the gameplay here. Moving along in our support team, we have Jingle Jess, and her standard perk is Bear With Me, and that increases the duration of Teddy by four seconds. Absolutely fantastic, because the cooldown is not <laughs> exactly favorable. Uh, I have a different build I want to go over that reduces the cooldown of Teddy uh, in Shock Tower. It's amazing. It's actually my favorite Outlander build, but for the purposes of the best-in-class Teddy build, she is absolutely necessary. Moving along to another one of the new retro sci-fi heroes, we have Azalea Clark, another boss skin. Look at that back bling is just amazing, but her standard perk space technology increases ability damage by 15.5 percent all of your abilities are now stronger thanks to azalea clark who you unlock in the current watch of the release of this video the current tales from beyond quest line and it's just absolutely amazing so that you know shock tower teddy they're now even stronger it's absolutely insane now for this last one, I put Survivalist in for all my builds. Just for, you know, the survivability is kind of necessary for my very forward style of gameplay. But if you want to go with yet another Teddy boost, if you want to just get even more insane, you could go with, there's a few things you could go with, but maybe Overbearing, which increases Teddy's range by two tiles. Now, whenever you think about it though, when we're using Teddy's, a lot of us kind of, Unless you're playing sniper or, you know, a further back, you know, ranged weapon, you, you're you really running to where the spawn is and you're throwing your teddy right in the middle of the spawn so you can kill them right as they, right as they start walking. So her tile is not, her, those extra two tiles aren't really, I, I don't really ever have a problem with my teddy ever reaching my enemies. So, you know, if I'm using a sniper build, maybe. But enemies take more, also take more damage from Teddy based on the distance. So if you do put her in the support team, you want to make sure to throw your Teddy actually further back, so you can get that extra damage from the uh, from the range. And for our gadgets, we're just gonna throw in Adrenaline Rush and Hover Turret. That's kind of just my basic go-to. And with that, let's hop into what makes this character's Teddy best in class. Okay, we are in a fight category 2 storm level 100 mission. I have two other people in this public lobby here. I found a little encampment. Not going to really focus on these weapons. Just going to throw the teddy down and see how far into the encampment it takes us. And Zap has started <laughs> the mission without my permission. <laughs> Let's see what teddy does. It is just decimating. Oh, dad bods, here we go. Oh, one dad bod down. Two down. Three down. Now Teddy's working on the blaster. It took down the blaster. It took down the whole encampment. Just the Teddy. Level 100. Fight Category 2 Storm. I love this build. It's definitely the best in class for Teddy. Hands down. Definitely a fun build. Grab that for the Atlas. Maybe find another one. I've, look, and you can tell, I have went around this whole map looking for a smasher. That's the first encampment that I found. Absolutely insane. I would like to have done more than just one little encampment to show the review of this best-in-class teddy build, but this is just not being supportive. Usually there's a smasher down there. Like, I'm putting my head around like it'll show me more of the screen. Nope. <sighs> see what we can find. We're yeah, back at the beginning. Yep, we're off. back at the beginning. Oh, here we go. Here's a better encampment. Now, if you grab one of those uh, fragments, it'll definitely make your teddy stronger. We're not going to do that for the purposes of this video. I'm going to just throw this teddy down, see how far we get into this, what I believe is a large encampment. Yes, it is. 
Get out of here. I am using the Baron just because I have uh, triple movement speed on it. Pretty fantastic weapon. It looks like it's going to take out this whole encampment, to be honest. This whole large encampment, even? Really? Oh, I couldn't see this guy here. Well, let's just finish him off with a drum gun. Running with the drum gun in the Wraith, just because I love those weapons. They're a lot of fun to play with. But yeah, if it would have saw, man, if I would have saw, the, or if it could have seen that blaster behind that encampment, I think it could have taken him down. So it could have, this one Teddy could have taken down a large encampment. But you know, post rework, people are all about bashing on the Teddy. Oh, it's not strong anymore. You just gotta put some Teddy characters in your build if you want your, if you want to use some Teddy. You know, it's still viable even without any characters. It's just not. It's not going to do a whole lot, but with this build here, it takes out large encampments by itself. Definitely a best in class for the teddy build. Take this guy out right there. Pop him right in the face. Get that blue glow, which I think I'm going to have to fight for. No, no, that was free. I thought, uh, I thought I was going to have to bash one of those little trolls, but this is cool. Well, I'm, I guess I'm just going to leave it off there. This seems to be a pretty dry mission, to be honest with you. That was only the second encampment that I found. But it took care of a small and a large encampment. Couldn't find a smasher to save my life to do that kind of a test. But, um, but yeah. So that gives you a little showcase of the best-in-class Teddy. Definitely a viable character. Definitely a viable way to play this game. Definitely fun to kind of focus on this. I'm going to... I can't wait to make another video for the Are They Dating where... Uh-oh. What are we talking about that here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Talk about that synergy and uh, between, you know, the who, you know, who's dating videos and whatnot. But yeah, with that, I'm going to leave it off. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit a like and a subscribe. If you didn't like the video, don't leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to keep making these videos and hopefully you'll, you know, I'll drop one that you do enjoy. Until then, I'll just be waiting for those likes and those subscribes, I guess. But anyway, I'm going to head off here and I hope you all live long and prosper. Survivor shelter is under attack. Check your map for the location of the shelter. Find the shelter before the hunt due to much damage. Look at this freak show. Charge the shot.